Hey everybody, it's Gamaraki. We're back with Psychonauts. Last time we finished up Fred Bonaparte's mind and uh, finally gave him the confidence to win at games and things. Basically win at life. Because he was missing that uh, key feature. So, uh, we're actually, instead of going straight to Edgar, I decided to head back to Agent Cruller's little shindigs to turn in all those brains because I became... <laughs> Or I came really close to dying in Fred's mind, and I'm kind of afraid that that may happen again. So, we're just gonna turn in these brains that we have right now, and uh, hopefully the added health will keep me alive. So, yeah! Let's do it! Let's do it! Hello, Agent Krella. How you doing today? Well, the good thing about you finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. Messy, yes, but not dangerous. And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. So, as you can imagine, we are in some bad trouble. Sounds like it's time something bad happened to our fine coach. Well, let me tell you what our plan is. Please, you have your plan, I have mine. But say no more. The end. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna go get on the coach's radio and call for help. See? Now that's an excellent idea. Why can't everyone be so helpful? Yeah, I modified the antenna, so now it broadcasts straight into outer space. Oh, man. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure! See ya! So, any questions? Is Elton okay? Well, he'll be fully brained soon, I promise. When he comes out, tell him I'm waiting for him down by the docks, okay? Hey, do you want to help us save the... Typical. And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. And that's why finding your brain in particular was my highest priority. You know, I'll bet if JT wasn't so distracted, this wouldn't have happened. He's probably with that prissy little show pony right now. No, actually I think her mind's on other things at the moment. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll go see what's up. One of us at least should be guarding the sleeping quarters. Agent Cruller? What is the current situation? Oh, I better right. go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, you can see inside uh, Chloe's helmet. I didn't even know you could see that. But yeah, she's definitely a girl. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. So, we should have a lot of health now. I'm not really sure how to check that, other than... I know there's, like, some button I pushed before that... You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the door on Agent Crawler. <laughs> Get that thing away from me! Aw. fine. All right, guys, I'll meet you back at Edgar, and we will. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll just meet you there. Alrighty, here we are, back at Edgar's, and I think I figured out maybe how to check my health. I think I have to be closer to the shore for Link. Never mind. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, Edgar. Prepare to have your brain cleansed of all its bullfighting glory. Hmm. What is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color.
That's an impressive house of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful, perfect, and sad. All day she cries rose petal tears, and I can do nothing to help her, because my creation lacks something, and it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El Odio. <laughs> Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh <laughs> Are you all right? Poor little guy. Hmm, little nick on the frame. Uh. Maybe I can cover that up with a price tag or something. All right. Welcome to Edgar's Mind. I know, right? Freaking awesome. It's all black light and really artsy fartsy looking. Even Raz is just freaking amazing looking here. It's just, oh my god, I love this place. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently he's trying to build a house of cards to reach some beautiful woman crying in the sky, and we have to help him get his cards back. Fortunately, that bull seems to be knocking down his cards. And I, I think El Odio means El Hate. The, el, the Hate. So, kind of fitting, because it's a very angry bull. Well, hello there, doggy. How you doing? Hey. Have you seen any really big playing cards around here? Now that takes me back. Poker night with the guys. Man, I miss those dogs. <laughs> dogs playing poker. Oh, where have I seen that before? Uh-huh. So the cards? You know where they are? Oh, right. Well, I do know about these four lost queens, but that's all. Can't do much with four queens, can you? Mm, yeah, I can. Those are exactly the cards I need! Where are they? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty characters. Not to mention El Odio. You're better off just hanging out here and turning your head just a teensy bit to the left. <laughs> but I want them. Alright, so apparently those cards are being guarded by some nasty fellows. I think I hate that bull a lot. Oh, trust me. You'll hate him even more as time goes by. When he first trapped me in this alley, I thought he was only mildly annoying. <laughs> You're trapped. Are you a prisoner of art just like Edgar? I'm a prisoner of that stupid bull. I don't want to get gored, so I hide out in the alley like a like a low-down dog. Okay, promise me you won't take this the wrong way. But you are a dog. Yeah, but I'm a saint dog, man. I should be up in the highlands above the tree line. Take up brandy around my friggin' neck. Seeing the world and finding more things to bait than this junk. Which is all for sale, by the way. Oh, of course. <laughs> hey, how to get out of this alley? We're trapped in here, son. Art is our only escape. Is that like a metaphor, or do you mean that if I take one of these paintings, I can use it to get out of here? If you take one of these paintings, I'll bite you on the leg. If you buy one, it could help you get out of here. They're magic. Of course. Okay, I'm off. Well, see ya. Keep off the street now. 
So we have to buy his art? Oh, jeez. Alright, which one should we get? Hey, he's painting me. Here's one of my newest acquisitions. Perfect condition. Yep. Enjoy your new art. zero. Here. Well, see ya. It's hanging right up there. Oh. Nice! Now I can get Edgar's cards. Heck you. This one costs five. Might as well get Enjoy that. Enjoy your new art there. Thank you. I will, hopefully. Oh my god. Alright, so. Figments are kind of hard to see here just because of all the colored lighting. Uh, <laughs> and this bull is running down this alley all the time, so you gotta be really careful. <laughs> Hello, buggy. Excuse me, ma'am, but could I hide out in there with you? This bull is coming down the street. So, that, this is a little um, thing we're gonna have to use later. These ladies will <laughs> close their windows if you get too close. But I think you can go invisible and jump in. No? Oh yeah, there you go. So so they'll they'll hold you in their little window well until the bull passes and then they'll let you out again. So we're gonna need that to get further up the alley. Or the the road, whatever this is. <laughs> Ugh. Man, jeez, I just love the colors here. It's so cool. Kind of hard to see with all the black, though. <laughs> and my uh, ball turned purple. What the heck? Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh god. Yeah, if he if the bull hits you, he's just gonna take you all the way to the next alley. Down the down the road. Not necessarily the what the heck. Not necessarily the last one that we were just in, but the the next one. So. <laughs> okay, let's not freaking blow this again. Uh, close line. Close line, close line. Hello, dude, another big guy. Oh yeah, look at that, that's how many brains we have. I was kind of expecting more, but I guess each brain you turn in is just a part of a brain or something. But still, if you turn them all in, I'm sure we'll have a full two rows. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Like I said, we gotta go in that window right there. Here we go. Can I go over that? Oh, what just happened? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, apparently we can't get over this gate until we hit that button. So. Run over here! Ooh. The only thing that really bugs me about Edgar's brain is the tight quarters. It really messes with the camera sometimes. <laughs> Alright. Just hop right over this, which I cannot do because that is an invisible wall. That's kind of bogus. Okay, that's fine. That that's totally fine, man. There's a tag. Oh my god, that bull is nuts. Have you ever seen uh, the guys in Spain do the running of the bulls? It's ridiculous. And they get gored and stuff. It's like, why? Why would you do that? Just don't know. Just don't. Can I hit that button? Oh, now the gate is open. Now that you come over here. 
put them in their matador hats. <laughs> Freaking sensors. Jeez, man. <laughs> One way that way. That bull is a little confused. Come here, figment. Jeez. Whoa, he's like walking on top. Look at that. <laughs> I just want, I just want that bird. Thank you. Can, 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 I, can I get one? Okay. There's a card. Whoa. That tiger picture just grabbed it. You jerk. Introducing, fresh from the Thrilla in Manila, Iowa. Tiger! Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty night. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snack size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my car, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then... All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up, but only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. Dude, I'm not that small. Jeez. <laughs> this is like Mucha Lucha. This is freaking out. Awesome. Oh, no, no. oh, you got some nice hits on me, dude. Fortunately, I don't think we can use our side blast in this particular place. Ow. So we, it's mainly just gonna be dodging. Yeah, look at this! And then beating him up. Oh, okay. Oh. Try it again. Woo. Try it again, Tiger Man. I gotta admit, that move is pretty cool looking. <laughs> uh, you're not grabbing me. I don't think so, buddy. Charge me again, Tiger Man! Yes! Right in the butt! Ore! Oh, 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 oh. I like how we're fighting on, on the card. It's so cool. Yeah, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. <laughs> he just falls down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sleep tight, kitty. Sweet. We got one of the cards that we came out of the tiger poster here. Or a picture, actually. Painting. <laughs> More like a painting. Um, yeah. Gotta give that to Edgar, but I'm messing around again. Oh god. Gotta watch when this bull comes out, because he'll get you just like in the alley. Oh my god. Hello, purse. Oh, there's a lot of figments in this area. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Side power upgrade earned ferocious aura. Enemies who get knocked back will now also take damage. Oh, I wonder if that works in the wrestling matches. Because that might be really handy. Dang it. Anyway. Oh god, oh god, 
so good. Did I get them all? Oh, oh look, stop knocking down his cars, man. Jeez. Edgar, I have a surprise for you. Sorry. This one was a real pain in the butt to get. Ah, that is exactly the card I need. Please, boy, I must have those queens. No problem, man. It's like a giant eyeball. Oh, look how sad she is, man. Crying rose petals. Jeez, so much symbolism going on. I can't even understand it all. It's just that much. All right, well, let's see if we can go back through our or through this one. Ooh, that's not a good place to come out. Let me off this crazy thing. Oh my god, he's gonna take me all the way to the end. <laughs> well, maybe not. Pretty darn close. I think I wanna get in there. How the heck do you get in there? Just got a signal. Okay, ball. I don't think so, punks. Okay. Now we should be able to travel up here. Oh god, this is scary. <laughs> Gotta wait for him to pass. And jump, jump, jump. I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do that. Woo. Thank God he drops me into the nearest thing. Oh my lord. I could probably just skip past this part. I'm gonna do this legit. <laughs> Why did I do that so early? Uh, it worked anyway. Okay. Come on, bull! Haha! <laughs> oh. oh, there's another card over there. But well, let's go this way first. Hey, look at that! Dingo! Dingo must be the Matador. Matador! Hey, another dog! Uh oh. Yeah, I saw another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys the uh, chain? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... Why don't you guys just make a run for it? You couldn't understand. El Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. And today is the only day that it's going to be this cheap. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. <laughs> Could you tell me again about your dog friends? Ah, you've met Mike, but now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can you fight bulls? I have a bull problem. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you are talking about Elodio, well, there is of course only one man who could handle that much bull. <laughs> that much bull. Who can do it? Who can fight El Odio? I speak of no other than Dingo Inflagrante, the infamous Matador playboy. Alas, they would never ask him to help. Not in a million years. Why won't they ask Dingo to help? Is he expensive? No, because what happened between him and Edgar? Quite a scandal. Mm. What? What happened between Dingo and Edgar? Tragedy. Betrayal, art, love, pain, nothing you want to know about. Yeah, I do. Come on, tell me. What's the big scandal? Listen, 
I deal in truth and beauty, not dirt. But maybe if you had bought some art, then I'd have to come up with some small talk while we're making change and, you know. Oh, jeez. Gotta go. Be good. All right, so we gotta buy his art for him to tell us what's going on here. Oh, we don't have one of these. <coughs> Pearls before swine. <coughs> what? Nothing. Now then, you will, of course, want something else. I guess. I already have one of these, but geez. Try to handle it only by the edges. Okay, I bought some art. Now give me the dirt on Dingo. <laughs> Okay, here's how I heard it. Years ago, when Edgar was a world-renowned painter, he was commissioned by Dingo to immortalize him in black velvet. But while he was sitting for the portrait, Dingo met Edgar's beautiful wife, who was none other than the top flamenco dancer, Lampita Passionado. He seduced the dancer, and the two ran off together, leaving Edgar with the unfinished painting and a broken heart. Since then, Edgar thinks of nothing but the treacherous pair, and since then, our streets have been ruled by El Odio. Oh my god. Edgar's wife ran off with some matador that he was having to paint. Yikes. Hmm. It's starting to make some sense now. But why would he still be going after the woman in the sky if she betrayed him? That's kind of weird. Whoa, that's a great story. You should do a painting about it. Yes, that's what we need around here. Some paintings of dingo and bulls. Yeah. Good idea. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I think that dingo sounds like a jerk. Ah, uh, he gets an unfair rap because of his looks. As a collie, I know how hard it is to be resented for your beauty. It's like being forced to wear a golden robe with a diamond kick me sign on the back. <laughs> Uh -oh. People don't kick collies, do they? Gotta go. Okay, woo. Well, this is starting to make some sense. Oh, thank God. I felt like I was being looted. <laughs> and that might explain the origin of the bull. Or the hate, or whatever his erodio, you know? So, yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna end this part here, guys. And next time we'll continue through. Edgar's mind and hopefully cure him of his art problem. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next time.